Handheld night shot. What we've got here are a series of photos and this is aperture priority sharpness turned down uh, it's a workable picture I don't care for the sharpness and aperture priority it gives haloing I'm going to take it out to 194% this is a cherry which has fungus on it and it's brown and it's kind of furry the other cherries as you can see are not affected yet so now this, this is the raw file and this is the intelligent auto mode picture. Uh, it sharpens it without haloing, which is nice. And it adds a little contrast and uh, handles the colors in a good way. It's a good mode. Intelligent auto works pretty good. Here it is at 100%. And here is the same picture. And at 194 percent. This is the same cherry with the fungus fully enveloped in the fungus and slightly more detail is visible as a result of the in-camera sharpening. Now this picture is handheld night shot. It takes four shots and processes them and puts them all together in the camera. And the sharpening is useful. I think it's not too excessive. The colors are handled well. The contrast looks good. If I take it to 100%, this is the uh, fungus cherry in question. I'm going to take it to 194 just as I did the first two. And more detail is available in the fungus cherry. Also the edge of the leaves is more defined. And the, the definition in the leaf looks better to me. I think this is a useful mode. I, this could possibly be uh, uh, a handheld high-res mode in the FZ2500. Now this was relatively calm conditions. Most of the leaves were relatively still. A few on the outside of the tree were moving a little bit. I wouldn't expect this to work for any kind of motion photography. So this Going back is the aperture priority with the sharpness turned down. This is intelligent auto. Not bad. And this is handheld night shot used in the daytime. And to my eye, it's cleaner and crisper.